Hi Pies fans, we are the team from Lily Street, brought to you by United. Now, finals fever time. Before we get stuck into that, Kef, our first loss for a very, very, very long time mm. on Saturday versus the Scrays. They were very good. I'm still getting over it. Yes, but is it the loss we needed before the finals? Well, tell us a bit about the game to start with. Yeah, up against the Scraggers, down there at Witten Oval. You like that? Yeah, not bad. Um, and they're playing for a spot in the top four as well, so they were going to be hungry, and we were playing to uh, hold on to top spot. But, you know, we came out really well. We kicked the first four goals of the game. Uh, we controlled they lost all. lost their Ruckman early, too. Yeah, that, that, that had helped as well. Coxie put his knee into his back, big Tommy Campbell. But, <laughs> you know, we kicked the first four goals of the game, and we dominated play. We probably left a bit out there as well. We um, missed a few really gettable goals, and... Um, they found their mojo in the second quarter, the Dogs, and they really came at us, kicking with that wind, and uh, they took the lead going into half-time, and uh, we, they never really looked back. We were sort of playing catch-up and, and really up against it, so, um, yeah, we've gone down our, our first loss in, in 12, 13 games now, so, uh, down by five goals, and Jordan Kelly, as you can see there, with a bit of an ankle injury as well, just to add uh, um, woe to the matter, so, um, hopefully he's not too bad. As you can see, the ladder, I haven't read it out, what is it? 13 weeks, 12 weeks, 13 weeks. A loss. A loss. Yeah. So, um, Footscray 16 9 to Collingwood 10 13. So, uh, as you can see, the uh, goal kick is there. And uh, Witsy on top again. Well, actually, for the first time all year, the best somewhat reflects the Lily ranking. So, well done, guys, post game on that. But Witter again. Oh, I actually seven. put the first two up there. Actually, you know, last week, the actually Witter and and Kath come up to me and goes, is there any chance that you can put me and, me and Witsy in the best if we, if we play well? Well, we've looked after you this time. Yeah. Pies fans knew what was going on. Um, so they had Witsy on top there, commanding winner. But Pevs, I'm not going not gonna to steal any of your thunder here, so we're just going to go straight to your well, my United, United Petroleum. Petroleum player of the round goes to the big man who had the most ranking points. <laughs> no. And that is Jared Witts. No, uh, the no. pressure got to him last week. The pressure got to him. I think it's the 20 disposals, 52 hitouts. Like I said, Campbell went down early and that paved the way for our Ruckman to dominate. So Witts has had about 2,050 hitouts. hitouts in the last two weeks. He has. He's, um, you know, he's playing some good footy back there. And um, look, he's coming up against some... Really good Ruckman. He's going to come up against a really good Ruckman this week as well. So he's going to, have to be at his best. But at the moment, he's supplying our mids. And particularly in that first quarter, yeah. he's so dominant uh, until their mids really, really put the asset onto our mids um, in those final three quarters. Yeah, and that's it. It's not just getting 52 hitouts. It's the hitouts to advantage as well. And we're yep. getting really good use out of it. As you said, that first quarter, um, it's the reason why we're up by... You know, 26 points or, or whatever it was. So, and around the ground, clunky him. And, and he had eight tackles as well, which is great. So, his follow-up works for me in first class too. Yeah. Yes. And Kef, a lazy 35 touches. But well, as I said, still, I'm, still well, not, yeah, well, well, the, well, well, I have a jewel you know, oh, This is just yes. hedging your bets. This is it's just my second. buttering him up. Wags, this is my segment. Go away. <laughs> my second United Petroleum player goes to this man right oh, here. Ah, finally. We were thinking about resting him last week, and Kath just told us, look, don't rest me. I haven't, got, me I haven't got many games left. Just put me in. Put me in, coach. And he had 35 disposals, eight clearances and two goals, and we did take him off the last five minutes. And also, he must be now having doubts about this whole retirement thing, Kath. Surely. Yeah, and yeah, no, Bucks is uh, ran at my house last night trying to get me to sign on. But <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was, um, it was good. I said, Ed Witsy putting the ball down my throat, so um, that made it a lot easier. And... Um, the set is not, I haven't got many games to go, so I've got to uh, put everything into it and hopefully uh, get the wins in September and um, finish with a VFL flag. So that's the goal, mate. So yeah. You got the boys in just on half time. What did you What did you say to me? Obviously, weren't happy with what happened in that second quarter. Yeah, well, I was pretty disappointed. As our first quarter, as I said, we started really well and the Bulldogs came out. We knew they were going to come hard at us in that second quarter, and um, they took the momentum of us. But I felt that some of our decision making, we had guys that were just sort of floating through the game and. It was as if you know we had nothing to play for, which which was wrong. Um, we had top spot to play for, and I just felt that we needed a lift, and um, it didn't quite work. So um, hopefully we uh, get our mojo back this week. I'm sure we will. So there you have it, Pebs. Can't split them. Weak. Let's see if the Collingwood fans out there had the same thoughts as you. Here's Mal with his fan vote. Yeah, guys. Uh, Pendles so far, three votes. Very very classy, like his brother. 
Also, McAffer uh, last season for us, been very, very good. And Jack Hillier up forward uh, for the one vote, uh, been good also. So, yeah. so no winner for him, but... No yeah. winner? Mm. Yeah. What game oh, was he you How can you say that? What game was he watching? <laughs> on the winner bandwagon, well, getting on towards my favourite segment of the whole oh. year. Probably the best segment on any football show across any channel. What do you reckon? Channel. Give us now. Oh, I don't know. I'm scared. Well, I, I ran out of ideas, so we just went back and had a look at the best of the ladder for 2016. Oh, that's weak. Weak. Now, Kev, I'm going to keep it really simple this week oh, no. because it's such a momentous occasion. Yeah. Kev, a ladder. 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 That, that item, you know, the vertical ranking of systems with percentages What's and points. Ladder. 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 <laughs> now, Kev. Yes. The EPL started on weekend. They call it the standings, so let's see what the standings are for VPL, in it. With my German heritage. Was ist die Leiter? <laughs> now, Pebs. Yep. Oh. Ladder. Calf. Ladder. 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 Well, there's a Bunnings in North Ballarat. Oh, sorry. President. Ducked okay. down at half time, did you? But, uh, yeah, ducked down at half time. Uh, picked up some things for the house. So scanning out. One of the items wasn't scanned, so the, the girl, I think her name was Julie, got on the PA and said, uh, uh, price check on Ladder. Oh, oh that no is way. bad. How much thought did you put into that? Well, that's as much thought as I put into anything in my whole life. But uh. anyway. <laughs> That is poor. I don't think anything will ever top that first one. We were sitting here and we had no idea what you were going on about down at Bunnings and... Well, there you go. That was horrendous. What the are, you are you embarrassed by that? I think that's comic genius, if you ask me. I've had oh, yeah. some amazingly positive feedback from... You were on Seinfeld at one time, weren't you? <laughs> Shameless self-promoter, Pebs. Yes. Well, Kev. Yes. What is the ladder? <laughs> that was poor! Yeah, that's, that's shocking. Well, I've done the best of it, I don't have to do it anymore. You've got nothing left to give. Yeah, we've uh, dropped back a spot, as we said earlier. So, second spot, that's us. And we've got Williamstown this week. So, um, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be tough right ahead. There's eight teams there that I think could all put their hand up and uh, make a case to win it. But, um, you know, hopefully we can get the win this week against Williamstown down at uh, Busy Park. Icon! Icon, Icon is Icon. it now. Princess oh, my bad, Park. My bad. Yeah. Would have been easy if it was uh, Vic Park, but anyway. <laughs> your old stomping ground, one would say, Kath. Yes, back uh, once upon a time, so. You might have played your forward. Kick eight. Oh, no, I don't know. By the way, we're just going on pretty happy there. <laughs> <laughs> well, the finals are here, and we expect to play a big part in them before the year is out. After the game on Saturday, Dale Tapping reflected on the home and away season, and cast an eye on what, what is ahead. Let's have a look. We've played 18 games, we've won 14 of them after losing two of the first three so I think overall I think our boys have done an outstanding job and deserve a great credit for the 18 games they've had. Um, now the challenge is to, to play well in the finals and that, but that's no different to any other team that participates so we're one of eight that has a crack um, and we look forward to playing. I think Taps Ladder! He had the ladder in the background! Taps Ladder! Oh very good. Well monstrous game this week it, it all starts here again Caff. Icon Park, Saturday, 2 o'clock. Nothing else on in Melbourne. There is nothing on in Melbourne. Let's get so out. So every single Pies Army person, if that even makes sense, must get down to Icon Park. Oh, before we get to there, team sheet from Lily Street. Ooh, wow. Thursday. Are we doing that? I didn't get the memo. I don't know. Yeah, I'll miss who that, is doing that? That is a great question. We're going to have to tune in to see who actually is doing it. We're getting replaced. I think we're getting booted. Oh, wow. Well, we're going to have to be good. But there it is. First qualifying final. This Saturday, 2 p.m., Icon Park. Uh, Collingwood Media will distribute all the information you need on gate time, gates, time to get there. Everything you need to know will be on the website, but it's not like the AFL, so make sure you leave yourself plenty of time to get there. If you remember the port down at Port last year, our supporters all turned up with about 10 minutes to go and couldn't get in until quarter time. So allow at least an hour to get in. We're expecting a bumper crowd. The stands filled, black and white. What do you reckon, Cal? 10,000? Uh, our, our fans, our fans are the best. Yeah. They, they support our boys. Absolutely. Yeah, well, we're all on board the VFL Pies. This is, this is a 20, big campaign. 20,000 20, screaming Collingwood fans would be amazing. There it is, Collingwood fans. Maybe we should the have the crowd, crowd estimate. We yeah. will. What is it? What do you think? I reckon we'll get uh, 13,210. 18,311. Whoa, he's going high. They are turning up. I reckon we'll get 
14,683. We'll put a we'll put a bottle of red on it or something. But uh, Pies fans, it's up to you to get down and support. As I said, check the website for details throughout the week. Calf, good luck. Thanks, mate. Three, hopefully, what, at least three games to go. A flag to come. What a way to go out. Go VFL Pies. <laughs>